The Strontium Dog Miniatures game from Warlord Games is a skirmish level game set within a galaxy of adventure, one where mutants, aliens and humans vie with one another. Of course, crime still pays, which means the search destroy agency, known as the Strontium Dogs, get to collect bounties for those who break the law. We have one of every initial release for this fast playing game, which we feature in more detail in WI370, our August issue. Right now, let's take a look at what's on offer and the different avenues that have been provided by Warlord to get gamers started in this fantastic universe torn from the pages of internationally renowned comic 2000 AD. First of all, we have the rulebook only option. This is a soft cover book printed to a high standard and begins with an outline of the Strontium Dog universe before plunging into the rules. The game uses character cards for each miniature, with a profile for each one, an outline of the various attributes, special rules and stats that offer a series of recognisable characters. The game is played using special, themed combat dice, which were made available as a separate clamshell purchase. Many of these existing characters and their weapons and gear from the comic book stories are outlined, and there are examples of the armoury and chicanery cards printed at the rear of the book which may be photocopied for use. A nice touch is the inclusion of a character design section, allowing you to pretty much build your own mutant, which may be something we'll see release a box of miniatures in the future. There are details of 13 scenarios and a fully realised campaign system to be found, making this a really useful rulebook for those who love the narrative style of gaming. Plus, if you buy the rulebook directly from Warlord, you also receive a unique miniature representing comic book lead character Johnny Alpha with his trademark close combat weapon, the Electro Nux. The rulebook alone is good value in itself, but surely even better value is provided by the aptly named The Good, The Bad and The Muty boxed set. This weighty box contains not only the sock of a rulebook and the combat dice, it also includes miniatures of Johnny Alpha, his bounty hunting partner Wolf Sternhammer, and the medically inclined Gronk, facing off against the notorious Max Bubba and his gang, all eight miniatures being based upon the comic book characters. Plus, all the miniature characters have a card detailing their stats and special rules. The armour and chicanery cards are all here ready printed. There are two frames of the new 2000 AD game tokens, and if that wasn't enough, a lot of the overall weight of the box is made up of a laser cut MDF building from Sarissa Precision representing a solar farm, the type of dwelling found out in the badlands of many a planet. Everything you need to create your first few stories. Of course, this is a universe with a cast of thousands, so you'll need more miniatures to create new narratives. Never fear, as Warlord have you covered with boxed and clamshelled figures based upon yet more classic characters, equipment, and the extras that can appear. The Styx Brothers and the Weirds are available in two separate box sets, the Sticks are hardcore search destroy agents, devoid of morals and part of a mutant family all look the same. You get three figures in the box, plus a single character card. Hey, they're all the same. Two additional armoury cards and one chicanery. The Weirds are former search destroy operatives, a trio of mutants, again from the same family, but with a very different look. They are enemies of Johnny Alpha and seek to gain revenge for past wrongs. There are again three figures in the box, plus a character card for each brother, two armoury cards and one chicanery card. In terms of equipment, one of the iconic modes of transport seen in the comics is the skimmer, a ground effect vehicle akin to a motorcycle that is used by search destroy agents and criminals alike. The search and destroy box set contains resin and metal figures of Johnny, Wolf and the Gronk mounted on skimmers with two character cards, two armoury cards and one chicanery card. It may be possible, with a little work, to fix other miniatures onto the skimmers to add some fast attack or recon abilities to your force. Last, and by no means least, we have a clamshell containing three strontium dog goons. These come without any cards, but are intended to represent the types of norms or non-mutated humans encountered across the galaxy. They could be used as auxiliary lawmen or as criminal gang members in the game or could perhaps be used as the basis for the creation of a player's own characters. Whatever you decide to do with them, 
These are just the sort of generic background extras that a game of this type needs. The rule book, cards, tokens, terrain, and the all-important miniatures are of a high quality, as you would expect from Warlord. This is a set of rules that pretty much guarantees a fast-moving gaming experience where every die roll or decision matters. The specialised dice, use of cards, and attention to detail of the rules all combine to help create a real sense of being a part of the Strontium Dog and 2000 AD universe.